with my graph working as hard as ever, I'm entering the great land of leeks and sheep. Beautiful day. I'm here in Wales to do a bit of mountain biking. Morning. And I'm here to meet Gordon Green. It's lovely out there. Just right for a little mountain bike ride around the village. I've got my gear on, ready to go. <laughs> you are having a mountain bike ride, but it's with a difference. Okay? <sighs> What's the difference? It's underwater. Tell me more, Gordon. Gordon invented the World Mountain Bike Bog Snorkeling Championship in 1998. That's riding a bike as quick as you can through a purpose-built swamp. And I'll have some creepy company. So what sort of things are in there? Water scorpions. Sorry? <laughs> there are little water scpions. It don't no, you say see <laughs> little you're thrown in now. I heard no, it the first time, Gordon. Water, water scorpions. Water scorpions, yeah. Any tips for me? Well breathe. <laughs> well, that's Gently a given. Breathe, that's yeah. a given, Gordon. I yeah. will be breathing. So I'm heading to the site of the World Mountain Bike Bog Snorkeling Championship. Thank God McGrath's not in the van. <laughs> the bog itself is 135 feet long, 10 feet wide and 6 foot deep. Temperature, just 5 degrees and visibility is about six inches, as the bog water is full of peat and decayed vegetable matter. This is not looking good. Go! People have travelled far and wide to take the turn. You cycle in at one end, down a slippery slope. The freezing, filthy water then invades every orifice, as you pedal like mad to reach the far end. Make it round the pole, and it's back to the start. The finish line is between the two stewards who catch the bike while you fight for your breath. Needless to say, this is going to be tough. <laughs> that is the hardest thing I've ever done. How the coldest. I've, I've not spotted any Welsh people doing this event. It's just us, <laughs> us English people, isn't it? <laughs> just us daft, daft heads, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Everyone else is sat at home watching telly. It's pouring down, but in a moment, that won't matter. I hope you're happy, McGrath. Let's do it. I'm the last to brave the bog. 18 people have been in before me. The best time, 59 seconds. But with 40 pounds of lead weights to stop me floating, I'll be happy if I get out without drowning. Go on, then. Before I go in, is there anyone from Wales here? Yeah. Has anyone from Wales actually been in? Yeah. Bollocks. <laughs> go. Hey, oh, <laughs> Go on, Paddy! Go on! Go on, Paddy! Well done! Well done, Paddy. <laughs> How was it? Oh, it was really well. That was very good. It's when you swallow the water, that's not nice, yeah, is it? It's disgusting. Okay, Paddy, that was one minute, 12 seconds. You came third. Hey, I'm third best at cycling through a bog in the whole world. Rock on, Tommy. Well, I'm cold, wet, tired, emotional. I've been bitten by water scorpions, but the one thing that hits me about this whole event is the English people are in there, half drowning, and the Welsh people are on the side with nice warm coats on and cups of teas. Big up the Welsh, they're not daft. Come on, you Wales! Yeah.